<laughs> okay, so I was using Chat GPT, and I was asking to make a song about how much I hate Fortnite and love Dead by Daylight. <laughs> and you can read this if you want, but it's pretty funny. And then I asked for for their opinion for the best perk layout, and uh, they gave me, you know, for for survivors. And then I, then I asked them, well, you know, I told my play style and what killer I use, what's the best layout. Yeah, and then it says monitor to be. <laughs> it's like some it's, uh, the the descriptions of the perks are actually good, but some of them are outdated. So I told them the perks listed are outdated and have different effects entirely, such as uh, which one was it? Oh, which one? So, so gave me a different suggestion. Here's the top notch, like newest information I have. Corrupt intervention, and it like doesn't mention about you know deactivating after survivors downed, or it doesn't mention that like it's only like 25% of current progress. And I didn't even want to read these ones. I'm like, nope, you're wrong. <laughs> to date so you can pause it if you want and then this is why I recorded to read out the custom perk idea <laughs> okay so it's a killer perk called mind games it's uh, when a survivor performs a vault or drop action so we, whenever it vaults whenever survivor vaults just at all in general or drops an item the, the perk activates Causing the survivor to suffer from the exhausted status effect for a short duration. And the killer gains speed and a reduced terror radius every time a survivor vaults or drops an item. And and then you get more scene, you get faster for however leveled up the perk is. And apparently this perk encourages the killer to use their map knowledge and strategic positioning to catch survivors off guard, making chases quicker and more efficient. Additionally, it adds an element of unpredictability to chases, because cause when this perk comes up, the survivors have no idea what the heck it is. Because it's just so unpredictable. Like, move, increased movement speed and reduced terror radius? That's unpredictability right there. And the survivor must consider the potential activation of mind games to adapt their playstyle accordingly. That's correct. I, I really want to keep asking more custom perk ideas. Okay, there we go, there we go. Just some overpowered perk that makes survivors exposed and damages generators. Overload. Alright. When a survivor is hit with a basic attack while out... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I haven't even read. Whenever a survivor is hit with a basic attack while outside of a chase, so you have to not be chasing them to and hit them. They become exposed when you hit them. <laughs> so when you hit them, they're exposed. When the perk is active, any generator repaired while the survivor is exposed, it just takes them off the generators and... Okay, what? Finding and hitting servers for non chases to apply the exposed status effect. <laughs> Just overpowered perk idea. <gasps> Dude, what? <laughs> Saying sorry, nope, that's not fair. That won't be fair. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's try another one. Scent of Blood. This thing is killing it with the perk names. They start to breed profusely. So it's just Bloodhound, but you get increased... Oh my god, so when you're chasing survivors and you're chasing their blood trail, you just have <laughs> increased speed. That's... I'm gonna see if it actually, like, what it says about my correction. Alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's hit me with another one. Okay, okay. It's exposed. So just make your choice. Their power gauge. Wait, what's a power gauge? <laughs> Allow them to use their power immediately. Oh, like just. 
The perk provides a small bonus to movement speed and attack range. The duration of ex Okay. Um what what if I What about a killer idea, huh? The puppeteer. Can observe with his career, he's fingers perfecting his craft. Avenge life like Life for their own can control their own actions. He started experiment using his puppets to control the movements of other people. But the experiments went horribly wrong. He lost control of his puppets and they turned against him. Wait, wait. So just Hold on. I'm not I'm gonna ignore the killer perks. So basically, he he believed that they had a life of their own and so then they just they just did. They they just had their own <laughs> Okay. What's the power? Control the movement of his puppets to manipulate the survivors. You can place up to three puppets around the map, which can be activated by the killer to grab a survivor and pull them towards the puppet. I think I think it meant killer. So the puppets grab the survivors and pull them towards the killer. The puppets are invisible to survivors. It can be just. <laughs> okay, so the puppets are invisible, and they can grab survivors and bring them to the killer. But but survivors can uh, deactivate them, so so it's not like you just place one on a generator and then it just takes the survivor and just 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 grabs every survivor. Why it's invisible? Why is it invisible? The puppet you can also use the power to control the movement of a survivor for a short. Bro, what? So, you will make them go- <laughs> Prepare to sabotaging a hook. Why would you want the- The control effect lasts for a few seconds and has a long cooldown. Okay, what? Oh, this is a perk. Okay, killer perks. Puppet Master. Survivors who are grabbed by puppet strings suffer from the- Oh, yeah, so that- <laughs> This is an add-on. So- <laughs> So if you're playing as the trapper, you have to grab them with puppet strings to make them expose. I said, oh, uh, so all these have to do with puppets. Okay, because, like, all of these, like, if you're playing as the trapper, you have to have the survivor interact. Does it, like, spawn puppets on the map if you're playing as the trapper or something? These are more like add-ons. Whenever survivor performs an interaction, the... Blindness, okay. What about the add-ons? <laughs> yeah, we, we know it's a custom killer. <laughs> so the puppeteer gets six iridescent add-ons. Increase the number of strings the puppeteer can control at once. <laughs> Look at all the pandemonium. When a survivor completes a generator, all survivors in a 60 meter are afflicted with every status effect. Blindness, deafness, exhaustion, hemorrhage, mangled, and exposed for 20 to 30 seconds. This perk can be very powerful. It can severely hinder limited range and duration, which gets to regroup and recover after initial effects wear off. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Power B. Well, it could cause the entire map to transform into a twisted, otherworldly version of itself, filled with fog, darkness, and twisted structures. Survivors will become disoriented, making it difficult to see and navigate the environment. While well, the entity gains increased movement speed and can move through. That's actually really cool. How come, like, a chat GPT can come up with better ideas than, like, behavior themselves? They should be taking notes right here. Additionally, while the powers activate, the entity can manifest in front of surviving who's causing them to become afflicted with a new status effect called Entities Embrace. This static effect causes survivors to become more vulnerable to attacks and reduces their chance to successfully escape from the entity's grasp. So it's a status effect for only the killer. Like, it's exclusive to the entity. Damn. The gambler! <laughs> the gambler! 
well dressed individual wearing a suit and tie with a fedora hat and a sinister grin. Their weapons of choice is a pair of dice they use to attack survivors. <laughs> Power high stakes. The gambler can place bets on the outcome of different actions within the trial, such as survivors succeeding or failing a skill check or a generator exploding. The bets are represented by tokens that a killer can accumulate during the trial. Once the gambler has accumulated a certain number of tokens, they can add... <laughs> I can't keep it together. <laughs> I just read Gambler's Curse. <laughs> They can activate their power. High stakes. This act causes all survivors to be afflicted with the gambler's curse status effect, which causes their skill checks to randomly appear in different locations on the screen. So just the doctor's illusion, whatever. Each time a survivor fails a skill check, the gambler gains a token. Each time a survivor succeeds, the gambler... Oh my god, that's... That's not good. That would not be good at all. You'd have to make a build focused on missing skill checks and... Oh, that'd be no. The gambler can use these tokens to trigger various effects, such as revealing the aura of survivors with a certain range or temporarily disabling pallets and windows. The gambler's add ons could enhance the effects of the power, such as increasing the range of the aura. Beginner's luck the first time you hit a survivor in a chase, get a token. So if you're playing as the trapper, you just get a token for, no for nothing. Whenever the survivor fails a skill check, gain a token. When the survivor is down, you can cheat. Double or nothing. Once per trial, when the survivor is down, you can choose to either gain two tokens or instantly do <laughs> So you down a survivor, then just teleport to a random location on a map. <laughs> So is it like custom for every single killer to give them all small little enhancements? Oh, it's listing. Oh my god. Hillbilly, ner Wraith, Trapper, Hillbilly, Nurse. <laughs> Hitbox of hatches by 1%. The Doctor. Oh, you already listed the doctor. You already listed the hag. The pig. You didn't, you didn't list the pig. The plague. This is actually fun. Hold on. So for the wraith, each... Okay, so it's just like... Each token increases the survivor triggering a trap by 2%. <laughs> oh my god. Hillbilly. Each token decreases the time it takes to charge the chainsaw by 5%. Reduces the stun duration after blinking. That's not bad. Each token increases the hitbox of hatchets by 1%. Each token reduces the amount of... Ew. But I don't think that's a thing. Each token increases the range at which traps can be triggered by 2 meters. That's not bad. Each token increases the shock range by... That's actually pretty decent. Each token reduces the... No, I actually low-key want this to be a thing now. <laughs> Each token reduces the time it takes to reload the bottle by 5%. Each token... So it's just like an ultimate add-on perk, basically. Oh. Okay, no, no buffing the pig. That is inspired by Peter Griffin. The fat man. <laughs> White tank top and blue jeans, he wields a large beer bottle as his weapon. <laughs> Drunken Rage. The fat man can become enraged, gaining increased speed and attack power for a short period of time. However, using this power drains the fat man's sobriety meter, and if it reaches zero, he becomes temporarily stunned and vulnerable. So if he becomes sober, it's bad news for him. The Peter Copter. Oh, it's thinking. Oh, it's thinking. <laughs> sure. Oh, it's trying. It is struggling. Peter Copter Escape. You are a master of escape and can use your aerial skills to your advantage once per trial. It is struggling. 
it's usually a lot faster than this. Summon the Peter Copter and ascend into the sky for 12 seconds. While in the Peter Copter, your movement speed is increased by 200%. <laughs> or what would it be? <laughs> the search is his next I found himself in the realm of the entity. Though he had no interest in killing at first, he soon realized that the thrill of the hunt and the chance to win big was irresistible to him. Now he roams the trial seeking to satisfy his addiction with both killing and gambling, proving that in this deadly game, luck all killers. Hold on. Too many requests in one hour. Did that happen to the pig? Hold on. I'm ending it there, but the next video will be only focused on the gambler's lore.